My name is Mike Sullivan. I do oral surgery for a living and fly and build planes for fun. Join me on my journey off the beaten path as I build my RANS S21 outbound. Tonight is the evening of truth. We are drilling out rivets that were not set correctly, did not pass the fingernail test. Which means we have to drill them out, deeper, put new ones in. All right, so we have got the, uh, this is the BAS incorporated tail dragger handle, tail dragger pull handle, we're installing. So first let's get this thing clamped up here. We've measured it and made sure that it doesn't interfere with the rudder cables. When they're tight, they go underneath it like that. And it's installed between the number six and the number seven bulkheads. So it won't interfere with any of the control surfaces or control cables, rods, etc. So we'll get this thing clamped up here. Measured it exactly two inches from the flange on the bulkhead to the flange on the pull handle. I only have one of those smaller clamps, so I'm gonna have to use a C clamp and use this little piece out here for protecting the skin on the outside. We can use this apparatus. This is a 330 seconds drill bit. Probably should have a battery in this. Just avoided the finger. It's always good. I highly recommend avoiding the finger with the drill bit. I uh, was unfortunate last weekend to catch the tip of my index finger with the drill bit. Thankfully, not a whole lot of blood. Lesson learned. I just put my thumb on the side of this long drill bit so it's not so wobbly. Next step is to mark the center of the hole. Or the center between all these rivet or all these um these six holes, which should be pretty easy to do since there are six of them there. I started off here with this one. This will go up to a half, get us started. Seven eighths, and then we'll file it the rest of the way. Step 
hell much bigger. Still bigger than that. That's going to require some filing for sure. Still some more work on the front side here. The holes lined up here. We're getting close. And there we have it. <clears throat> nice smooth hold, took it up to an inch. Fits flush with the inside here. And we got ourselves a pull handle. Nice thing about this one is too, it'll pull out on both sides so you can have two people <clears throat> push or pull it if you need to. Just slides back in. All right, now we'll take it all off, deburr it, clean it up, get ready to rivet it with a PQ 42s. <clears throat> I'll deburg just polishing it up. Just wrapping it up here. Garmin magnetometer mount. I already made these three holes, got a clean coat up. Match drill here. Okay, long drill bit coming right up. privilege of riveting this from the other side. Well first we'll take it all apart, deburr it, maybe flip this thing on its side. Flip the fuselage or the tail cone here on its side. And put the rivets in from underneath. I'm sure glad I did these nut plates before I riveted that thing down because that would have made holding the little nut plates up while you rivet impossible. All right, we got a <clears throat> tail cone flipped up on its side. We're just using Jack's favorite tool here, polishing the scratches off from uh, deburring. <laughs> Nice and smooth. Now we'll put in the uh, the rivets for the magnetometer to mount. Here she is. So we first riveted the three rivets that go on the bulkhead, number seven, which is right in there. Now we'll rivet these. 
Magnetometer mount complete.